All right, so uh, PL SQL success messages, pretty common thing to encounter, or it, it's something that uh, most developers get right away. Uh, there's just a couple things about success messages that I just wanted to bring to your attention. Um, whenever you create a process in Apex, there's a little pro property there where you can define a success message. Um, but one of the things that you know sometimes you wanna do is uh, you might want to not display any messages uh, when you branch to a page. So in other words, you run some processing, even though it has a, a success message, I just want to completely ignore it and go somewhere else. Uh, it's that property is kind of hidden within the branch. It was more prevalent in earlier versions of Apex, but it kind of got uh, sequestered away kind of under uh, a couple options. Um, you don't always want to use it. And I'd say, uh, you know, it's better to display more, inf more information than less. But uh, sometimes you want to squelch or suppress uh, messages, and this would be the way to do that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just hop into a record here, say edit for a good old record king. And if I make a modification uh, to this record, uh, change some value, I say save, uh, and I can see that I get a message. No big deal. And if I make a change back to some value, I can save, ultimately I make the change, the database was updated, but the message was squelched. Now, the same process ran. The only real difference here uh, was that if I edit my page, I just wanna show you kind of a, a property here. In my page processing, I have two branches. Both go back to page five, that was the previous page. I can see that this branch runs uh, when I want the success message. I just called it save success. And I can see that this branch runs only when I click the, the save button, which uh, in this case will squelch the success message. And I just wanna show you where, that's, where that uh, property is kind of hidden. It's actually in the branch itself and it's kind of hidden under advanced. You can see there's a little property here called success message. Apex defaults this to, to yes, because well, usually you want to display it, but in the event that you want to squelch it, this is where you would do that. Uh, the other part that I wanted to look at was just uh, making dynamic uh, success messages using substitution string syntax. It's very easy for us to inject uh, values of items from session state into a message. Quite simply, all you need to use is the ampersand dot syntax to make that happen. And you can see that I had done that here, if I go to process row of emp, if I scroll down to my success message, you can you can see here, and I, let me uh, do that. You can see here that all I've really done is uh, just referenced a, an item on the page using substitution syntax. And when I click save and this message runs, uh, you'll see that uh, the current value of that item is presented back. So let me go ahead and make a change here, save. And you can see dynamically it injects the name King. But sometimes you wanna have a success message that isn't, maybe it leverages an item that's in session state, but you need to do some math or some calculation or you just need to do something else, something beyond just displaying a current value. So the way that we can do that is uh, we can set a global variable called gPrintSuccessMessage to whatever value that we wish to display. And you can see in this case, I'm saying that uh, salary doubled equals, and I'm just doing some math on the salary field. So you can see that the current value is 14 or 4013. And if I say uh, display my dynamic message, you can see that salary doubled and you see it actually you know, doubles the value. That's not based on any item. That's not based off of, uh, that's not calculated and saved into an item in session state. We just calculate the value and build it into our display message and present it. One of the things that I, you need to be aware of though, is that there is a problem if you're kind of mixing and matching dynamic messages and kind of the regular kind of you know standard messages uh, built into the processes. 
And the issue is that if I make a change here, you know, I should get the message that says, you know, King updated. And I say both dynamic and save. You can see it only says salary doubled. In other words, it squelched the previous message uh, for the actual update. So just be cautious that uh, if, if you are directly modifying the success message, you may override uh, existing messages that are there. So tread with caution.